so it's day five. Um, and sitting up in the dark again. Had to go up the hill to glass with them. Larry spotted a couple of does last night, making their way down once again. On a super high, um, spotted a immature stag as well with one doe uh, yesterday morning. They seem to be coming out late, and they keep dropping over the ridge to the side. So uh, can't quite work out why they're doing that yet. But hopefully, it's been warm the last couple of days that they start dropping down for a drink so that's hopefully the plan um, if today doesn't or this morning I should say doesn't go to plan and um, we can't get a shot at one or if you don't drop any lower we're going to move further downstream so pack up and go look at a couple of different gullies and see how that goes down there so we'll see how it goes Was a cowboy I knew in South Texas His face was burnt deep by the sun Part history, part sage, part Mexican He was there when Pancho Villa was young And he'd tell you a tale of the old days When the country was wild all around Sit out under the stars of the Milky Way And listen while the coyotes howl And they go Ooh-yip, ooh-yip, ooh Ooh-loo-yip, ooh Now the longhorns are gone And the drovers are gone The Comanches are gone And the outlaws are gone Geronimo's gone And Sam Bass is gone And the lion is gone And the red wolf is gone Well he cursed all the roads And the old men And he cursed the automobile Said this is no place For an hombre like I am In this new world Of asphalt and steel Then he'd look off Some place in the distance At something only he could see He'd say all that's left now Of the old days Damned old coyotes and me And they go Ooh, yip, ooh, yip, ooh The Comanches are gone. So, let's make my way back to camp now. Um, it's the end of day five, and um, it's probably been one of the more frustrating uh, couple of days, and if not weeks, of hunting that I've done. Um, once again, no deer tonight. Um, no sign. Sort of unsure of where where the deer could have gone all the deer we've seen so far have been up around 750 800 meters um, and no sign along the flats whatsoever it's all sort of a week and a half old so um, tomorrow we're going to walk at gully flat and hope to to push something up but it's uh, quite demoralizing 
spend a lot of time, spend most of the day glassing um, for no reward, not even to see does uh, making their way from their beds down or, or anything like that. So um, hopefully with a bit of luck uh, tomorrow brings us some good luck. Um, but we'll see how we go. Keep soldiering on. So the plan for today is um, Larry's going to go sit at that spot from yesterday, uh, glassy, the north facing hill, uh, gets the early morning sun, um, and we're going to walk the gully below, uh, just trying to see if there's any sign, uh, if the deer are getting through there, um, and hopefully, if Larry hasn't seen enough hill to start with, we might push a couple up or we might see a couple ourselves. Um, have to get an opportunity to get a shot, so uh, sort of a last resort plan was to try and do it like this, but the lack of deer in this area at the moment, we, um, we thought we might try something new, so we'll see how it goes and hopefully a bit of luck today. I just shot a nice stag. I'm um, way down now to, to follow him. Um, he's about 40 metres off the gully floor, so we'll um, make our way down now. And um, hopefully find him piled up. He sounded like he crashed down, so I oh, like might have changed a bit. Oh, oh. It's worth the shitty water. Right. I'm crashing down there. We got right there, right at the creek for Some thick stuff, but found a drum with the job. Um, so it's been a pretty tough morning, but here he is. Um, we punched our way up through the gully where he went higher and glass the opposite side and the plan was to hope we push something out for him but working along and here was this fellow about oh, 30 metres above the gully floor, there's a wallow just back there, so I don't know whether he was headed that way or heading back from there, but um, absolutely stoked. The last five days have been pretty tough, we've done some hard yards, done a lot of glass and for a lot of luck, so to finally get the rewards, um, I'm absolutely stoked, so uh, now yeah, the job, cut him up, take the back straps and enjoy a bit of venison in camp. How do you stop it? So it's only about seven and um, we're looking to a south facing hill at the moment. Um, it's nice and open. Let's see. Um, no action this morning though, so we're, um, we're going to punch up over the top and glass into an opposite gully, uh, which would be the north facing hill. Um, and hopefully see something making its way up to bed down. It's about nine o'clock now, so. We'll um, 
probably spend an hour up there and then we'll head back to camp and um, relax there for the rest of the day and then head out in the afternoon. But yeah, hopefully we can see something make its way up. stay with nubs. He's fucking dropped his antlers. are gone, and the outlaws are gone, Geronimo's gone, and Sam Bass is gone, and the lion is gone, and the red wolf is gone, well he cursed all the roads in the old, and he cursed the automobile, said this is no place. For an hombre like I am In this new world of asphalt and steel Then he'd look off some place in the distance At something only he could 
can't see He'd say all that's left now of the old days Damned old coyotes and me And they go Ooh, yep, ooh, yep, ooh Now the longhorns are gone And the drovers are gone The Comanches are gone The outlaws are gone Now Quantro's gone Stan Wattie's gone And the lion is gone And the red wolf is gone One morning they searched his adobe He disappeared without even a word But that night as the moon crossed the mountain One more coyote was heard And he'd go, ooh